Does your car have leaking shock absorbers that make it bounce all over the place? Well, if so, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to replace shock absorbers on a Chevy truck. Now, the first thing you have to do is jack it up in the air, but here's where you want to jack it. You want to jack it right here on a hinge so the arm will go down so we'll have room to pull the shock off. Now, we'll take the wheel off. And here's the shock assembly here. It's got a built in spring, so we have to remove the whole thing. And if we look on top of the shock here, we notice there's a little electronic connection because this has an electronic stability system. It's very complex, and in this case, these shocks list for $475 a piece. And it's a shame they're so expensive as we can see, they've gone bad because all the fluid has leaked out of them, so we got to replace them. So we'll unbolt the top bolts. And we'll unbolt the bottom two bolts to get them off. And since this is four wheel drive, there's a drive shaft in the front and that's in the way. So rather than take that off, we're going to take this outer tie rod arm off to get room to pull the assembly off. We just undo the bolt on the bottom here, and then give it a good wag on the hammer, and out it comes. And now we can wrestle the whole thing out of its hole. And down it comes. You gotta wiggle a little, but it does come out. Now in this case, the spring is held on real tight, so you got to put a spring compressor on it. You put one on each side, then you tighten them up so you can take it apart without the spring going boing. You get them on nice and tight, then you unbolt the top, take the bolt off, and off it comes. Then you slide the spring back on top of the new shot, and get it on nice and snug, and then bolt the top on. Get it on super tight, uh. then unbolt the spring compressors, and slide it back in and put the bolts on the top to hold it in place. Then get the bottom bolts on tight too. Uh. Then you put the tie rod back in the hole and bolt it on. Then you put the wheel back on on the hubcap. So the next time your shock absorbers get all mushy on you, why not change them yourself? Remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.